Welcome back to News 46. Here's Ron Chase with Nevada Public Auction. Hey, well, all right, sir, here this there. segment is sponsored by I'm a Nevada Public now, Auction. There is quite a bit of stuff in here, but yes, first let's mention the owls. There's probably a good 30 or 40 lots in here of owls, with probably 100 different owls from even like Fenton owls, but small porcelain owls, large metal owls, uh, you name it, this, this one estate had quite a bit of uh, owls in it. Also, if you love rock posters or coins. Absolutely, uh, tons of coins again, about 140 lots, silver, gold, currency, proof sets, silver sets, old Carson City stuff, you name it, we got it for coins. Like you mentioned, all the vintage rock posters there from the Aladdin Casino in Vegas, ammo cans, knives, uh, bayonets. It's just a lot of different collectibles in here this weekend. Tell me about some of these porcelain items over here. Uh, well, there's tons of porcelain. Like I said, there's all the porcelain owls. Then there's some uh, some Hummel figures up front. Again, a vast variety of glass, too. Blue cobalt glass, a lot of crystal. Again, a wide selection of uh, collectibles this weekend. This item looks like it's a tractor, but it's not, right? It is not a tractor. That is a very large quad. It's a Kawasaki uh, 350. It's the uh, Prairie Edition. It's uh, 2013, so barely even used. And it's got the bucket attachment, the blade attachment. So, yes, you can use it for a small tractor you know, around your yard. You can come down here to 800 Margaret Street, preview from 9 to 10 on Saturday morning, but you can also see the items online. That is correct. So, again, all starts at 10 a.m. Saturday. Be here early. 9 o'clock, we open our doors. Uh, the whole catalog is online now at auctionnv.com. And give you a call for more information? Sure. Call me here at 751-4867. Again, it's 800 Margaret Street. That's one street past the hospital, down Highway 372. You also do uh, charity auctions. You Absolutely. can auction people's uh, whole house or individual. Yeah, items. the company's uh, locally owned and operated. We all live here. We all work here. Uh, we'll do anything in town for charity. Just give us a call. Help the Moose Lodge a while ago. Uh, you have a charity event? Just call me here again, 751-4867. Hey, well, all right, sir. Here this there. segment is sponsored by I'm a Nevada Public now, Auction. Let's join Darby O'Donnell and Lorraine Russo Harper with Symphony Animal Foundation Save a Pet. Hi, I'm Darby here with Lorraine down at Symphony Animal Foundation, and today we are joined with Cooper. This is Mini Cooper. This is actually Buddy's brother. They are litter mates, and Mini Cooper is also six months old. He is a yellow lab and spaniel mix. Him and his brother are about 18 pounds. We don't imagine them getting very much bigger. So if you're looking for a small to medium sized dog that is smart and lovable and wants to come home with you, pick me, pick me. <laughs> it's Cooper. How can people find Symphony Animal Foundation? We are located at 2501 Wheeler Pass. And the easiest way to get to us, because we're kind of out in the middle of nowhere, is take Panorama, which is the street that goes between the Pahrump Valley Auto Plaza and AutoZone to Wheeler Pass, make a right on Wheeler Pass, and it takes you right to Symphony Animal Foundation. And when are you guys open? We are open from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., Monday through Saturday, and by appointment on Sundays. And a phone number? 775-990-6578. Cooper is sad now, so we have to go. Cooper wants a home. <laughs> Cooper saw his brother over to the side there. You can see that. Well, let's join Mo Noah Began with today's Angie's List concerning sensitive teeth. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream, especially if you have sensitive teeth. In today's Angie's List report, we learn about common causes of teeth sensitivity and ways you can combat that problem. Maybe even get to enjoy ice cream again. Lots of people who have sensitive teeth think they just have to live with the condition and they give up the foods and drinks they love. What they don't know is they can control and maybe even eliminate their sensitivity and still enjoy those treats. It may, however, first involve a visit with somebody they've also been avoiding. Many people don't like going to the dentist and oftentimes put off problems, whether they're having pain and discomfort, and they don't get it treated because they don't want to go. But that's going to lead to bigger problems that are harder to treat. For people with sensitive teeth, the pain they feel is most likely happening because they're having issues with the enamel on their teeth. It's the thickest part of the tooth and the first line of defense against sensitivity. There's many different things that can damage the enamel. Um, one of the most common one is the items that we drink. There's uh, soda, um, sports drinks, energy drinks, uh, uh, different types of um, wine and the reason why those are challenging to the enamel is they're full of acid. 
Some vegetables and fruits contain acids, as do sour candies. Jawbreakers and nuts don't have acids, but they're hard and can crack the enamel. Chewing ice, grinding, or clenching your teeth? That's just asking for trouble. Fillings that fix cavities will sometimes allow cold to be transmitted to the nerves below. And some teeth whitening products that penetrate the tooth to remove stain will cause sensitivity. Another problem? You may be brushing your teeth wrong. Some folks really like to get their teeth clean and just kind of scrub along there. You get your teeth. Well, if you wear away tooth structure, we're making it thinner. That you get more uh, cold transmitting to the nerve, more cold sensitivity. And then the gum tissue actually protects the tooth a little bit too. So if you wear that away, it exposes more of that gum uh, tooth that's thinner, more cold sensitivity with it. But back to the reason so many of us put up with the pain. How do you combat the fear of the dentist issue? So the key here is finding a dentist that you can talk to easily and talk to about this anxiety and discomfort you might have when you're at the dentist because many dentists can come up with ways to make the process much less painful and also going more frequently, while it might seem crazy to most people, can actually make the process much easier on you. What about those toothpaste designed specifically for sensitive teeth? Experts tell Angie's List that toothpaste, rinses, or trays that contain fluoride are good ideas because they'll help strengthen teeth, which reduces sensitivity. If you're one of those who likes to use over-the-counter teeth whitening products, Dr. Gosman says you're probably okay as long as your products are approved by the American Dental Association. But stop chomping on that ice. For other tips on how to keep your enamel fracture-free, go to the Angie's List website. I'm Noah Began for News 46. When we return, Noah Began will be back here with your weather. News 46 weather is brought to you by your local dairy farmers. Dairy products are very important in maintaining a healthy body. Hello and welcome back to News 46. Today is Friday, July 10th. Today we had sunny skies with a high of 90 degrees. Your average temperature around this time of year is 104 degrees. Winds were coming from the south at 10 miles per hour today with gusts up to 22 miles per hour. It's calmed down a little bit from yesterday, but they are still up there. The evening today was 9, which is very high. Humidity was at 16%. Sunrise was at 536 this morning, and the record high in 2012 was 114 degrees. Well, tonight we'll have clear skies with a low of 64 degrees. Your average temperature around this time of year is 81 degrees. Winds will be coming from the east-northeast this evening at 6 miles per hour with gusts up to 14 miles per hour. Humidity will be at 27%. Sunset will be at 8.04 this evening. And the record low in 1948 was 64 degrees. Tomorrow we'll have sunny skies with a high of 95 degrees and a low of 67 degrees. Winds will be coming from the south-southwest at 10 miles per hour with gusts up to 18 miles per hour, so those winds will be calming down even more. Humidity will be at 18 percent. Sunrise will be at 536 tomorrow morning, and the EV index will be 10, which is very high. For our seven-day forecast, we'll have a mostly sunny week, though we may be seeing a few clouds outside this Sunday. Your high temperatures again will be starting off at 96 degrees tomorrow. That'll be going back into the 100s on Monday, rising up to 103 on Thursday. Your low temperatures will be looking at a similar pattern. It'll be starting off at 67 degrees tomorrow. That will be rising, hitting 70 degrees by next Wednesday. Thanks so much, Noah. And some sad news. Today, we say goodbye to our fellow animal actor who starred in a recent commercial. A few days of shooting and over 80 hours of editing, the Sugar Shack commercial, Raphael the Chicken was an easy actor to work with. He and several of his chicken friends recently were killed by coyotes that broke into their cage. Raphael was the star of one of KPVM's commercials for Sugar Shack. Raphael was a chicken owned here by Vern Van Winkle and was tragically killed by coyotes. Raphael worked for several hours with our crew making the commercial with the help of the prompt gunfighters. The chicken was scheduled to make a second commercial for Sugar Shacks. However, a stand-in will be used instead. All of us here at KPVM say a sad farewell to Raphael. Raphael, bye! 
Bye, Raphael. Oh, he's not chilling. That was a chill bird. You will be missed, Raphael. And, uh, well, that's going to do it for this edition of News 46. We want to remind everybody that the International Roadshow will be down at the Prump Nugget, and uh, that's the International Gold Buyers and Roadshow. Uh, that will be down there all weekend long. Both auction houses are having auctions tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Dr. Tom Waters will be at the Prump Valley Museum for his lecture tomorrow at 1 p.m. on Basin Avenue. And the summer movies in the park will continue tomorrow night at desk. Bring your chairs down and watch the free show. We hope you have a great weekend. We'll see you back here on Monday.